King Archer picked up an uh, axe of the Malphite, which means, uh, and uh, taken from a gold, she's got the uh, symbol of rage right now, which will make her even uh, even harder to uh, get down since um, <coughs> the 4 the are they uh, they don't have anything to stun or, or anything uh, fast damagey. So for Saiyan Archer, it's just gonna heal up easily with the uh, symbol of rage. Ah, I'm, I'm glad you remembered it this time. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to press the C button and scroll up. Thanks for this too. <laughs> um, anyway, we're gonna see how Brain's got a great arcane now, so he's obviously gonna be going for that perfect item and re restoration stone. I'll spit out if he gets to that long. But, um, you said already, yeah, Corrupted Disciple, 25, similar range, rage. If you look at those items now, they're just everything you want on your carry. <laughs> Probably the best ones you can get. And should have no problem in dealing out damage and taking out one or two of these heroes by herself, to be honest. Deadwood, though, mm, maybe not pushing the lane. Ah, uh, he knows they're gonna go for him. Yep. Um, even Pestilence is now getting a bit more farmed with his warp cleft and plate man that he's gonna be going for then is let's see if I can take the challenge, his demonic breastplate. Oh that was such a lucky guess. <laughs> One out of two. But um yeah, here we go then. I uh, thought they are a bit indecisive at the moment then. They seem to be just waiting for this um lane to be pushed back then and then might try and actually t take it. But, um as you said they've equally got a tough time ahead of them and finally well bit bit wise now um because of this risk of the wall tree being taken out just by creeps we're having archer or now deadwood just pushing back this bottom lane making sure at all time um it's going to take them a while when they're in this team fight to actually get there so um, maybe yeah, something should have done earlier but they really have to do it now yeah, it's just to ensure that if if they do like a big fight at the the top lane, that all the creeps doesn't push fast into the world tree, making it take a lot of damage while they fight. Uh, but I think it's pretty fun to see who's uh, been work bitching this game. If you look at the KGB killer on the STFU gaming side playing Witch Slayer, he only has steam boots and power supply. The rest is just pure warding. But oh, Hellbringer goes a bit too far out, he might be ca caught, he got caught by the Polywalk Priest, and oh, he was owned by the ward, but he gets ultimate up. Oh, Witch Slayer one shots, wow, gets that last shot, the Slimmer goes in, gets that ultimate, which oh, they don't want, gets protection, no. Hellbringer's idol. Oh, but here we have the, the punch, for Saiyan Archer owning. She is just raping that, she probably shouldn't use that word, I it, but, honest, Oh, but, she um, goes a bit too far out. Has a similar the range to get that extra health. He <laughs> down looks like Shaman's that. going. Witch Slayer in the background doing damage there. Doing those stuns. I feel it does run off. Has got uh, Pestilence Ultima on it. Can be seen. <laughs> yeah, I, I pretty much think SDFU are also giving a bit of sigh relief there. And now we're going to push mid. Or oh man, that was, himself. that was so breathtaking. <laughs> Watching that Hellbringer barely getting his ultimate off. Just turning the whole thing around. Yep, and Silver's ultimate now, not being that dead, well, obviously still deadly, but um, now because of the farm Forsaken Archer's got, it's not doing that much of a difference, but you can see this tower go down really quickly here. She's even going on go on, go on to the next one before they start coming up, about 10 seconds and one more, and then 30 seconds to the next lot. Um, uh, the main Shaman has gone for a buyout, but the rest are going to yep. wait. We're gonna see the tower go down, that's for sure. I'm not sure if they're gonna continue, I don't think so. Oh, doesn't even I need to worry about that. Polywall goes down, Slipper comes in. Oh, down goes a feeling, wow. A free hit. And they're breaking them. This is just, wow. Arguably, just what they wanted. They wanted this late game. You know, it took them long enough to get it, but they think they might actually have it. So oh man, what lane. did I tell you? Oh, and the corrupted the saddle two is in. But he takes a load of damage from Forsaken Archer. Yep, it seems like a bit of panic going here. Dimension so Shaman Venomizing for coming in. She's not careful. Yep, Venomizing coming in. Dimension Shaman doing damage, but um, unfortunately not enough. The symbol of rage heals her up instantly. There's nothing to do. Oh, 
Oh, no, oh it's clear almost protect. goes back. <laughs> have to be careful, he probably doesn't have enough for buyback, but Shaman's right in the middle of this now. Oh. Taking a lot of damage. Oh, wow, he tanked he and killed the Ife. Uh, luckily, the archer has got a stack of <laughs> still 4,400 gold, so it's no <laughs> yeah, problem definitely. for them. But um, and it's not something you see very often, a tank in Demented Shaman, I have to say that much. But um, all the while we had Deadwood pushing back top lane. He's got a ruined axe now. It's nearly pumping at 300 damage. Um, the Archer's doing the same, to be honest. Pretty horrifying to face one of them with 300 damage in Deadwood for every punch. Yeah. Doing it now on <laughs> Sliver. Here we go. Oh. Oh, but oh. oh, it gets there just in time with his TP. Deadwood escapes. But it doesn't and get that kill it's so wanted. Oh man, I gotta I gotta love being right. I told you when it when it looked <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the worst for STFU gaming, as I said, they do have a chance turning it around for uh, for Saiyan archers to get farmed because of the um, lanes pushed. So yeah, definitely. The longer um, four and a half seemed to wait, the greater the chance that STFU could come back with these late game heroes that powers. Um, uh, in my defense though, nearly had him, if you look at the wall tree now, no towers, he was getting damaged, so um, <laughs> could have been both ways, but this is, you know, this is Heroes of New Earth for you, so um, you can always sway your side. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they could go, uh, 40 hour could suddenly sell their items, go for uh, 5 assassins routes and try and backdoor, Couple something of like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it seems like they're gonna initiate on middle. Pestilence coming in, stunning Slither. Dead would not catch him, but Mouth is going up. Slither gets owned again in second. Pestilence was stuck in that between the lords. He should be able to get him out of there. He's gonna be chased but, down by uh, Polly. Ophelia yeah, corrupted, stuck in combo. Yep, looks like Polywalk's now running. They're all running in different directions. Deadwood is going to finish off Ophelia. One more hit. Oh. That's been slowed by Demented Shaman. And Forsaken Archer does the job for him. Oh, Demented Shaman is stuck. Keep running. Polywalk goes oh. down on the other side. Can he get to the tower? And he's going to let him. It seems that Pestilence might just be content. He's going to farm or maybe push the lane top then. So as soon as they've done with this one, they can just move top to build two each. We'll see if they have time. But, um, uh, the Ophelia do have for a buyout, uh, but the Polywalk and the Slither doesn't. Yep, there you go. One tower goes down, then, and me the melee is going to come down pretty quick as well if they're not careful. Full health and mana for most of um, STFU, but they're going to be focusing on Forsaken Archer. You just jump to Spain to split. Wow, there's so many oh, uh, different ones. I've done a real, there's real one. Similar rage! Similar rage! Oh! Deadwood kicks in, uses this Falcon's Punch, so aptly named now, and Demented Shaman is nearly half carrying himself, to be honest. Um, Halbring's going in there. They do save the melee barracks, but um, we're going to have another buyback from Forsaken Archer. She's got enough to do it about oh. 50 times. Slither's going to try and take out Hellbringer? Oh. Oh. No stunning, though. No Jinso. Every member of SFU, apart from the Witcher, have got enough for buyback, and they're probably keeping it that way to make sure they're always ready to step on in. But um, for an art, haven't got anyone apart from Demented Shaman who can actually do it now. So um, this gold's going to oh. be an even more important part of it. We do have the um, Cultra Sheepstick on the Demented Shaman now, so it might. Be, uh, might be a little turn of events if you, if you can get the uh, Cauldron on Forsaken Archer before she uses the um, Geometer Spain and they maybe can take her out, but I don't see that happening right now. Yeah. The tides have turned. <laughs> oh, look, Congo's back though. So, um, but they might have been spotted here, but if only three of them goes in, they're going to have a tough time without Corrupted Disciple, but he's only five seconds away. But um, in that five seconds, Congo's gonna go the down. Congo is uh, so down. And down it goes. Sliver uses And the banana. <laughs> and the banana. Oh, Deadwood likes the banana. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect one. He's a oh, he, he might catch Ophelia. Will he catch him? No for range? Nope. No, no, no. TBs do go oh, in they, Oh, they go in. Punch goes in. Deadwood punch. Looks like we're gonna have some action. Ward's gonna